studio. Aldi announces a 50% expansion of its supermarket stores in the UK. I've been speaking with the chief executive. We're spending £1.3 billion. Um, pounds. That's seeing 40 new Aldi stores um, opening this year. That's actually uh, one every seven days. Another FTSE 100 company, Smurfit Kappa, looks set to abandon the London stock market for New York. Plus, the Lloyds of London insurance market is back in the black and the Lloyds insurer Beasley has reported record profits. I'll be speaking to the chief executives of both. Good morning, this is Business Live with me, Ian King. Well, in a moment, we're expecting to hear from the Justice Secretary, Alex Chalk, on the manhunt for the escaped prisoner, Daniel Abed Khalifa. We'll be bringing you that statement in the House of Commons live. But first, the German supermarket chain Aldi opened its first store in the UK in Birmingham in 1990. This morning, it opened its 1,000th and announced plans for another 500 as part of a £1.3 billion investment. I've been speaking to Giles Hurley, Ollie's Ireland and UK chief executive, and asked him why he was embarking on this expansion. <laughs> Sergey, Zombie! I'll save you! <laughs> yeah, I think I got him. Don't wombat it, meerkat it. Simples, huh? We've um, undertaken a strategic review of our um, store estates um, on the back of our 1,000th store opening um, today. And um, we're, we're currently actually in, the, in a, a, an expansion programme, which is the second year of an expansion programme, where we're spending £1.3 billion. Um, pounds. That's seeing 40 new Aldi stores um, opening this year. That's actually uh, one every seven days between uh, now and Christmas. And I envisage that that investment um, is going to continue into the future to support our long-term strategic aim of 1,500 stores. Is your parent company, Aldi Sued, investing this sort of money anywhere else in the world, or is this its biggest financial outlay? Yeah, difficult for me to, to comment on what's happening in um, uh, other Aldi markets. Well, what, I, what I can talk to you about is very much um, what we're doing here in the UK. Um, I think for some time we've recognised the UK has huge potential and Aldi is now more popular than um, it's ever been. And, you know, it's, it's the... Um, uh, the demand, which I guess is giving us the confidence to continue um, to scale uh, and expand the business. And I think what, what we recognise uh, most of all is that there are communities across the UK who continue to pay high prices for their groceries because they only have access.